So, hello everybody. Welcome to my series of videos on the Breeder Journal and the Breeder Project in general. And in this particular video, I would like to explain to you what Breeder is and how you can use it and how you can subscribe to the Breeder Journal. Everything will be, uh, you can find everything in the website, uh, the web link here, journal.breeder.eu. It is a secure site, so um, you don't have to worry about data being stolen or passwords being stolen. And when you type this in, you come to this page here. Welcome to the Breeder Journal, an explanation of what it is, my email address, my website, and a rather charming picture of me. At least I think so. Um, and then on the right here, you see different um, buttons uh, here about the Breeder Journal to subscribe, the online version, membership, and the real enterprises. So just let me explain to you what this is all about. So Breeder is a fictitious and imaginary town. Uh, I created it back in 2015 with um, some people, notably uh, two ladies called Brigitte and Danielle. And I took the first letters of their first names and combined the two and we made Breeder. And they were actually students of mine. And we created this town and there's a map. Yeah, so it's, it doesn't exist, but it is very, very realistic. And um, we played for this, so you can actually read here the history um, of this project. And um, the, uh, the, the, the history of this town at some point, maybe in 2016 or 2017, uh, we had a Breeder History Association. And uh, at that point, we needed to actually put this town somewhere. And the people who were in the group discussing this, we decided that the town should go somewhere near this French-Spanish border, near the city of Perpignan. So this area, whenever we talk about Breda, you have to imagine yourself that you are in the southwestern corner of France, pretty much on the French-Spanish border. So you can read about the development of Breda. Here you can have a look at the, 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 the model that I tried to develop with it. And then if you're really, really interested, you can read about my, my life here and some feedback from people who have, um, who have um, given me some feedback on the, um, the project as it stands so far. So that's the that's the, um, uh, the history of it. Now, what you can do is um, look at the Breeder Journal. And there are two ways to get this. And probably the best way for you is to subscribe to the Breeder Journal. And all you have to do is write your name here, your first name, that's all I want. Yeah. So I'm going to call myself Tom. And I'm going to write an email, Tom101, sorry, 1001, at breeder.eu. Then you click the, okay. And then you get a message, and this is important, yeah? So check your inbox to, um, to confirm the subscription. You may have to check your spam folder, and then you have to confirm your subscription. Now, this is a legal requirement here in Europe. You just can't send it off and think that is all going to be okay. Um, you have to confirm your subscription. And what happens is that every Sunday evening, I automatically send out the latest version of the Breeder Journal and then you receive it in your inbox and whenever you look and check your emails, you should see me there, um, but also maybe check your spam folder, yeah, depending on your settings. 
And that is basically all it is for this stage. And in my next video, I will show you what you can do with the Breeder Journal Online and the print version. Thank you for watching and see you soon.